Hello, hello, hey, hey, how's it guys? Welcome, today's a very special day for me and my family. It was the, yeah, it's a very happy day, the King of Kings, it's his day today. So guys, uh, today I'm going to make for you my specialty, beef curry stew. Okay, so what we need for the beef curry stew is the following. We need curry powder ginger powder, pepper, salt, spring onion, onion, green pepper, garlic, and some Worcester sauce. All right, and from your local butchery, nice beef stew. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put the garlic, two tablespoons of garlic, okay? Two tablespoons of garlic. We're gonna mix, before we mix the green pepper, we put our spice, okay, nice curry spice, we put our ginger spice, curry spice is about uh, two heaps of tablespoon of curry spice, ginger powder is about a tablespoon of ginger powder, okay, then we're going to teaspoon, nice teaspoon of pepper, okay, then a nice teaspoon of salt and a half, okay, of salt. Then we're going to put our spring onion, nicely spring onion, and then one onion, nicely chopped, one onion, okay, and then pepper. Some call it bell pepper, some call it green pepper, some call it paprika, okay? Of green pepper, and then seven tablespoons, seven tablespoons, okay, of Worcester sauce. Seven tablespoons of Worcester sauce, okay? I just want to get the spices out, okay? Normally what you can do, you can use your tablespoon to mix it, but our hands are clean, so we mix with our hands, nicely through, nicely through, mix it through. So guys, please check that everything get the spices, all your meat get the spices, all the pepper, all the onion coming through, mix it nicely through. Okay, like this, mix it, mix it. Guys, the more you mix, the better it tastes. Remember that. Alright, like I said in previous, previous videos, I say, the more you spend on your making your food, the more time you spend, the more quality you will get, the more taste you're going to get. Alright, so mix it nicely through. So what I normally do, I leave this, I leave this for about two hours, okay, to rest, two hours. So from the time now, one hour I will come and mix it again, okay, mix it again, and then after two hours I will mix it again, and then I will show you guys when we put it in our pan, cook it, and what all the ingredients is of the that to make a nice beef Gary Stew. Thank you. See you later. Hi right, guys, and we are back. All right, guys. So uh, our um, beef stew curry was resting now for two hours. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put everything into a steam pot. Okay. Yes, oh, oh. let me just show you everything inside the steam pot. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up with water. You see, just until you can see the water like this, just until you can see the water. Don't cover the meat, 
with everything. All right? You can, just as soon as you see the water, please, guys. Okay? So what you're going to do, I'm just going to turn it in here a bit. Okay? The steam is lit on. The lid is on. Close it. Okay? Like you can see, this is a very old pot. All right? Come to the stove. And then you can leave it here. We will put the button on later. And um, then after this, I will show you the sauce that we're going to combine with it. Let it then cook for another, say, another 10, 15 minutes. So the sauce can make a love with the meat, okay, and everything. And uh, mock it like a deliciously, all right. And um, then we're going to serve it with uh, white rice or brown rice. But uh, white rice for today, yesterday we had the brown rice, but today uh, white rice, white rice. Okay, man. So, guys, I'll see you now. Now, keep it cool. Okay, guys, we're back. And uh, yeah, it was in the steam pot for about. Oh, look. It was in the steam pot for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply our other ingredients. So what we have here is a bry relish, tomato onion mix that we're going to put inside. Okay. Here we have another, of, uh, another teaspoon of um, curry and a teaspoon of turmeric. Okay, that will make it a nice yellow. All right, here we have three teaspoons of sugar. All right, then we have that's what I've got left. It's about half a cup of chutney, half a cup of chutney. Then we can put also a half a cup tomato sauce. All right. We can apply, I use, uh, you can use uh, fresh vegetables, potatoes, carrots, uh, beans, but I've got a frozen pack here, okay, that's about two cups of frozen mix, and then we're going to put in uh, one, two, three, four, and five, five tablespoons of mayonnaise. Okay. Then we're gonna stir it up. You can see there. We're gonna stir it up nicely. And guys, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna put it back. We're gonna put it back on the stove. Okay, so what you have to do now, now you must just concentrate so you don't burn. Because you've got all the ingredients, you've got your chutney, mayonnaise, tomato sauce, and all that ingredients. You've got now inside, so it can be that it will burn. But what you do now, you can put it back on the stove, okay, in your pressure cooker. Steam pot, pressure cooker, you name it. It's your game, it's your game. You play the game, you can name it anything you want. In the pressure cooker, okay. So, put it back on the stove, all right. And then we put the plate on about 120 degrees, okay. It was on 180, 250, between 180, 225, just to get it up and boiling for about 15 to 20 minutes. And now we have it on a lower temperature, about 120 degrees, so it don't burn, and you can leave it for another 5, 10, 15 minutes. It just depends on if your vegetables is cooked, and your sauce is, that make its love with the meat, and the, all of that, the lucky thing is. Alright, so guys, don't forget, I will show you how it looks on the ricer, on the rice, on white rice this time on the rice and uh, then you can see how a plate looks all right i'll see you now keep it cool all right guys so we are back 
this is the last just to show you that the, this is the beef curry stew look the beautiful yellow color and then we got our fluffy rice okay normally you can do the rice on the stove or you can do the rice in the microwave okay but just to make the time not a lot of us got a lot of time but just to save some time you can put two, uh, uh, two cups of rice four cups of water five cups of water you can just depend uh, a teaspoon, uh, half teaspoon of salt in the microwave 24 minutes all right so I will show you now let's just put everything nicely how it looks nice fluffy rice Oh, it looks divine. It looks divine. Huh? It looks like your umas or your grandmother's uh, courses. Yes. It looks divine, guys. It looks amazing. So guys, I just want to clean the plate so you can see how nice it looks. Just like that. You just clean it. So what you can do, you can take some spring onion. And just put some spring onion on top. Just for a little garnishing. Just for a little garnishing. And there you have it. A nice dinner for the soul. This is perfectly. This will let you cry. This will let you remember people you missed. This is very deliciously. And uh, what I'm going to do, like any, any guy do, taste. Vegetables is crunchy. Taste. I overdone myself. I over done myself. Guys, please go like and subscribe my page. Thank you for watching. And uh, keep it cool. May God bless.